Organized Mom here and today I wanted to give you a quick tour and peek at my recipe binder. This is the best system that I have had so far for keeping all of my recipes together in one place. Um, the ones that are tried and true and that my family really enjoy. So um, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what I keep in my recipe binder and how it works. Hey guys, so here um, is my recipe binder and I'm just going to give you a quick tour through um, the way I have it organized and tell you a little bit about um, how I've set my recipe binder up. So the binder that I have is from Staples. It is um, absolutely the best binder that I've found. I really love it. It's very durable. Um, the spine is also, um, you know, kind of lined with a a rubbery material and um, there's a place to label what's in the binder here on the side so I really like that. I came up with just a quick graphic from my um, a program on my computer and um, this binder has a clear sheet here where you can just slide that in. So the first thing in my binder is a clear little pouch here that I use to keep any coupons or things um, that I'll need that weekend. The first sheet here is a family meal plan spreadsheet. This is one that I actually got online from um, athomewithnikki.com. I really like her um, blog and her YouTube channel. She has lots of great organizational tips. And this um, meal plan sheet is um, laid out very well. It has the days of the week. It has the menu here and then it has a shopping list broken down into different categories and it also has a place for a weekly shopping budget and then the actual shopping bill. So you can also keep up with um, how much you spend and um, things like that on this sheet which is really convenient. Um, I also made up one to use. Um, it's not as fancy but it's a basic meal plan shopping list that I use. Um, same concept just to list the recipes or meal plan over here and then there's a place down here for my shopping list. So the first category I have is appetizers. Um, I have these dividers but they didn't really work out very well because I have everything in page protectors. So I need to go back and get the wider um, dividers because they do make those for um, to go with page protectors. But for now, I just took the um, these little tabs that you can stick on, and I'm using those for now. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but I have had these 4x6 recipe cards kind of shoved into a box um, for a very long time, and have tons of these. So, anytime I wanted to find a recipe, I had to dig through like a gazillion of them. So, um, this way, I know exact I can see them, and I know exactly what I have. These are sheet protectors that are divided up into three different four by six sections. And um, I just use uh, one sheet for three cards. That way if there's anything written on the back, um, I'm able to see that when I go to make that recipe. Um, I have all of my printouts in page protectors. Nowadays, I think that the majority of people, when they're looking for a good recipe, they go online and they print it out. So this way, um, it stays halfway <laughs> readable um, in the page protector and it stays protected from, you know, little hands and any kind of spills that you have. Actually, I have like a big spill right here. So anyway, um, yeah, so I have it. The first section is appetizers. The second one is breakfast. And I have the same concept, but they also have the page protectors that have two, only two of the four by six sections. So um, I got several of the, the the three pack and the and the two section ones. And then um, the next section is soups and salads. I have these all broken down in the same type of way. And all of these recipes, guys, are recipes that I have de I have deemed are like worthy to repeat. So I don't put everything that I have in here, but this is my go-to. This is my um, the place that I go when I'm wanting to plan the meals for the week. I know that these recipes have been tried and they're good, and my family approves. So um, it's a really convenient way to sit down and just go through, and you can plan your meals based on. Um, past experience knowing that everybody likes them. So yeah, I have a main meals section. 
Um, and then, of course, this is going to be like huge because that's the majority of my meals. I have um, lots of these different protectors here. And then I also made a section for crock pot recipes because if you guys know me, I do lots and lots and lots of crock pot cooking. Um, it is absolutely a lifesaver when you are busy and you are, um, especially in the evenings when everybody's needing to be taken to practice and things like that, you just don't have time to stand in the kitchen and cook. Um, and I know for me, by that time, Maddie's usually really tired and, and whiny and I'm tired and not really feeling like I want to, um, to cook. So here is a section all about crock pot recipes. Um, I think I have the majority of those pulled out. Um, and then the next section is recipe, or not recipes, um, vegetables. So here are my vegetable recipes. And then there's a section for desserts. Who doesn't love desserts? I know I could live on desserts, but I try not to. Um, yeah, so and then I have some extra um, page protectors back here and in the back there is a little pocket um, Velcro pocket here for any that um, you know, I could just want to store for um, a later date and I can come back and put those in So that is it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the tour of my recipe binder. I Hope that I've inspired you guys to make one for yourself to, um, to, you know, get more organized and um, have fun planning your meals for the week. And let me know what you thought about this video. And for more, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.